two of you have found each other so young in life that most of us wish for and that you are truly kindred spirits. You have so much of the same things in common and interest. Um, we're probably all going to be jealous for many years to come. You complement each other very, very well. Allison is the most selfless person I know, sometimes to a fault, but that's what's going to make her the best wife, mother, and lifelong partner because she will stop at nothing for your happiness. Any quality trait I have, I feel like I learned from you. You have the biggest heart and have taught me to be kind and how to have perspective and always give people the benefit of the doubt. You always know what to say, and I haven't quite picked up on that one yet, but we'll work on that. <laughs> you are overwhelmingly thoughtful and considerate, and while seven-year-old me would probably cackle at the idea of me calling the girl who would spill marinara sauce all over herself every time she borrowed my white shirt, consider it. Well, at bygones be bygones, and I would just suggest staying away from any spaghetti tonight with a beautiful white dress. <laughs> I can't believe we're finally here. It's been 11 years since I asked you homecoming freshman year of high school, and what an 11 years it has been. From etching our names in the concrete of my bedroom right over there, which I'm not sure if you've even seen, <laughs> it's under the floorboards now, <laughs> to moving across the country and taking on college together 3,000 miles from home, to getting a doggo and literally building a home together. I've dreamt of my wedding since I was a little girl playing dress up with my sister and my cousin, but I have dreamt of this exact moment standing across from you, Ryan Thomas Day, since the moment we met outside AP biology class in the C building hallway freshman year. From that moment on, my heart was yours. Our story is full of ups and downs, but through it all, you have always been there for me. You truly set the tone in this relationship. The sacrifices you make, the way you communicate, the little things you do for me, and how you love me unconditionally. You are my North Star, the one constant in my life, and the one thing I search for to find home. My love for you is simply a part of me. It's what brings joy, laughter, strength, friendship, honesty, trust, and happiness to my life. Life doesn't make sense without you. You're the person I can't go to sleep without, the one I look forward to waking up next to. You're my first phone call home, and the person who can lift my spirits when I'm sad. The person I want to complain to when my first graders are terrorizing me. You're the person who can make me laugh, even when you're also the person I'm mad at. You're the person I want to turn towards when I'm scared and I don't know what to do, and the person who knows me better than I know myself. You are my person, and I love you with every ounce of my being. You light up every room you walk into, and your grace never ceases to inspire and impress me. From your constant compassion for others, to the way you listen, to the way your passion for shaping the lives of your kiddos as a teacher. The list goes on and on. From your amazing hugs that make all worries, stress, and bad moments disappear, to the way you listen to my endless and pointless stories over and over again. You love with such sincerity, thought, warmth, and attention. I want to be the one who brings out the color in gray days be your shelter. The one you run to in the rain, finding the light. I vow to you, my almost husband, to nourish this relationship that we have built so that we can continue to grow together and create a loving, safe and encouraging home. To build a family in our home so we can all quote Spongebob together and we can sing Dixieland Delight with the windows rolled down even though I hate driving with the windows rolled down. I vow to join in on your puzzles once the perimeter is done and hopefully raise some kids who like doing puzzles as much as you do. So as I make this lifelong commitment to you and to being your husband, I vow to always love you as hard as you love napping. <laughs> I vow to match your energy every step of the way. To always dress up in silly costumes with you. To nerd out on parties and, and planning creative stupid gimmicks. To always hit the dance floor with you. 
no matter how bad or awful my dancing continues to be through the years. To receive the love you give me and match it with the exact same energy. I vow to always support your creations, visions, and new endeavors, whether they succeed or fail. And I vow to push you to be your best and happiest self. I vow to love you today, tomorrow, and every day with intention, effort, and lots of kisses and butt grabs. I vow to work for our relationship because I know it won't always be easy. And lastly, I vow to do the dishes every time you cook, as long as you vow to do the same. Witness. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> you also heard that. He said agreed. I vow to stay romantic and do the little things even when the luster of marriage begins to fade and our lives become full and busy. I vow to cherish you and hold you close to the end of our days. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Allison, you may kiss your husband. <laughs> Serendipity is when you find something good without looking for it. And if that isn't the epitome of your relationship, I don't know what is. Nobody is looking for their wife or husband at 14 years old. But here we are 11 years later celebrating the great love that neither of you were looking for but found. Fun fact, today is actually National's First Love Day. And that's just got to be fate. If you look four miles this way, you see a whole lit up city. At 1230 in the freaking morning, Ryan and Gio convinced us that we were going to run that direction. At a certain point, we found the midnight train was going to be rolling through. and We were going to have the opportunity to throw rocks at it and have the adventures of a lifetime. We had all known each other a lot before high school, me, Ryan, and Brendan. But during those four years, we had the uh, unique opportunity to grow up with each other and learn lessons with each other. And you are the older brother that I never had. Just like I've never had an older brother, I've never had a sister. And you've been the greatest sister a guy could ever ask for in my entire life. You're amazing. If I've ever seen perfection, it's you two for each other. We wish you nothing but the best. We wish you nothing but happiness. Not a lot of people are lucky enough to say this, but you guys have found the perfect person for each other. You guys are the most amazing people I've ever met. And I love you guys so much. everybody here and everybody in our lives from my sister and my mom fighting me during one of our valleys in high school <laughs> to remind me of how amazing you are and to fight for you to when we were playing with our beautiful niece Carson and grandma whispering in my ear she's gonna be a wonderful mother my friends are your friends and they love you just as much as they do me some of which have even said that they prefer you over me. <laughs> you are my favorite person, and I can't wait to continue doing life by your side as your wife. Thank you for choosing me. I chose you 11 years ago, and I will continue to choose you for the rest of my life. I love you, Ryan Thomas Day, forever and always. 
I'll leave you with these words. May your love grow stronger and stronger and your life's journeys be remarkable, one filled with love, devotion, and joy towards one another.